Hello Shiloh family, uh, friends and loved ones. Uh, welcome to another segment of uh, Let the Men Speak. Um, today I'd like to talk to you uh, about a topic about trusting the Father. Um, we're currently learning about how to see God as a father figure and um, the topic I wanted to talk about was trust. And uh, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, um, trust is defined as a firm belief in the character, ability, strength, or truth of someone or something. Now, best example I've seen of this um, is something our pastor likes to point out is children. Uh, if you tell a child that they're going to Disneyland next weekend, uh, they're going to tell the whole neighborhood because they have absolute belief in the fact that they're going. It doesn't matter what the logistics are um, to them. They, you've said so and they're going. Um, it's that kind of belief and faith and trust that we need to have in our Heavenly Father. Um, I think what happens is uh, we kind of tend, as we grow, we kind of tend to trust in our own strength over time. And uh, that kind of detracts from the childlike trust we should have in our Father. Um, God gives us the power. He gives us the ability to... Uh, to accomplish things, but we need to remember that He's the ultimate provider, He's the supplier. Um, we need to be able to surrender, and I mean, it's not, it's not easy sometimes. Uh, I know I struggle with it, um, but it, it's, it's definitely um, the, the right course of action. I mean, the scripture says in Proverbs 3, uh, 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and he will make straight your paths. Um, uh, I tend to be pretty heady. Uh, I'm always in my head, I'm always trying to think of every outcome, but uh, there's some battles that you know I can't win with my own strength. I need to be able to surrender and trust that God will take care of me. Um, another scripture is Psalms 37, four to five. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will act. And um, the big, one of the biggest lessons I take away from this is the only way for me to actually attain true peace is to believe in him. It's a um, wise man, I heard a wise man recently say that um, uh, you should be able to enjoy life even in the middle of a storm. And it doesn't matter what's going on in your life or in your families, especially with the world going on today, um, being able to surrender um, that peace, I mean, sorry, being able to surrender that control and have full trust in the Lord that He will provide for you, He will take care of you, um, is what will bring you true peace. Um, now, we are human, we will fear, we will worry, but my message to all my brothers of Shiloh and everyone watching is uh, never despair or lose hope. The King of Kings is your Father, and He will see you through. Thank you for watching.